When Marina died, it was really pretty hard. And Zerka, I mean, she and I, we had an interesting connection. Dagas from Germany and Sweden, and I used to run international groups here in the States and then in Carlsbad in Czechia. And one of the things that we would deal with sometimes was the underlying principles that went on, like with Hannah Arndt and the human condition and uh, Kafka, uh, surrealism. I mean, there were amazing things that I got myself into. And I met John Mosier, and we developed this the healing circle, which is a spherical model. It's not a linear model for healing and therapy and all that stuff that people have. It goes like this. It's, it's really pretty amazing, actually. That's a quarter circle. That's the oldest template on this planet. This is the uh, solstice. and it's a ritual of transformation. And it's an earth ritual. And here is birth. Death. And rebirth. And it's a masculine gate because it takes an action to cross it. This is water, it's spring, and it's a ritual of incorporation and purification. And here is a feminine gate around the 1st of February. Mm -hmm. Then this happens March 21st. And uh, it goes like this. Then you have May Day. This is a feminine gate because it's passive. It, what that means is it's something that happens. It's when you plant the seeds, there's, uh, it was a free day. Beltane happens here. This is when the earth wakes up. Mm -hmm. down deep on the, underneath. Here, this is uh, the planting of the seeds. But the other thing that happens is spirit comes in here. Then comes in. And over here is Halloween. Or Salon. go out. It's also a feminine gate. Over here is uh, Lamas is what they call it and it's where death starts. But this is water, air, and fire. And this gate deals with uh, the highest and the best that we are, Pathios. And this is solstice, June 21st. Mm -hmm. This is August. This is May. And this is a, the ritual of, incorporate, of uh, identity and uh, And initiation. Mm -hmm. This is us. This is right here. Mm. Underneath and behind this is an open space. That's the egg. On top of that, this is a Mayan star symbol. And it's called life. Mm -hmm. For life to take place, 
mother and child have to die to each other because the placenta has to come loose the mother has to stop bleeding the baby has to take its breath of life mm -hmm. if that doesn't happen one or the other can die so there's then a new life and a new relationship that develops this goes like this the spiral of life mm -hmm. and it repeats itself as you go around this this is not a linear process what's more there are certain things that take place in all of this this is a ritual of transformation mm -hmm. here is confusion the process here hmm. on this planet these are the equinoxes in Ecuador it's 0, 0.0 latitude and longitude mm -hmm. it is what they call the center of the world mm -hmm. the circle goes both ways at the same time so the circle goes sunwise and it goes this way, mm -hmm. depending. So that when you have spring, you have fall at the same time, mm -hmm. and vice versa. You have summer, you have winter, and vice versa. So that on this planet, the whole framework of how we live our lives is built into this structure for every living being, and that's trees, water beings, air beings, four-legged, two-legged, whatever kind of being you are. So in this model, all kinds of healing takes place. It's, all, it's very complex. So I worked with that. I mean, I'm just a weird duck. I'm a weird duck. Psychodrama saved my life. Mm-hmm. It saves a lot of people's lives. We have a responsibility to this planet that's indigenous. Moreno taught us that nothing was more important than our working together. That's what who shall survive is. Connected man, connected man, not separate man, not red man, white man, yellow man, black man, green, red, orange, polka dot, who cares? Connected, connected man. and honoring life. That's what Moreno and Psychodrama taught me. You honor life. That's what my father taught me. That's what Crow Dog and Black Elk and many of the, Margaret Mead, that's what she taught. The leaders, they teach respect and honor and caring and compassion and love and what forgiveness really is what it really is and gratitude for all the lessons and the choices we make about how we live our life that's what i learned